Hello booktube, it's Thea and this video is going to be my November book haul. So for November I purchased a total of eight books and um, most of them are kind of a miscellaneous. There's a few mangas, a graphic novel, and a couple of regular novels. So let's just go ahead and dive right in and show you guys what I purchased for November. Uh, the first thing for this haul is actually my most recent purchase and I purchased it last night. I was at my used bookstore, I happened to come across it, I knew I had to have it for my collection. And that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the special 10th anniversary edition that has the special cover. And then um, the only extra thing other than that is it does have a um, colored illustration of Hagrid with the castle and a sketch of Snape with this little insert here. And it says, Snape, as I always saw him. This was scribbled back in 1992 or three. Although I have spent years denying that Snape is a vampire, one of the more outlandish and persistent fan theories, I must say he does look a little Count Dracula-ish in that cloak. So these are um, the only two really additions to the anniversary edition aside from the cover change, but I knew I had to have it. Um, it was $10. As a uh, book collector of all things Harry Potter, I knew I had to have this edition, so I went ahead and picked it up. Hello! Oh, hi, buddy! Hi! <laughs> hi! Oh, hi! Hi, 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 hi! You gotta get down. You gotta get down. <laughs> the next two are also the most recent things I purchased last night at my used bookstore, and that is the Maximum Ride series. This is volume three, and this is volume four. This is the manga adaptation of the series by James Patterson, and um, we have been slowly collecting these. They're very hard to find. Um, like not brand new. These were both the used, used bookstore. They're basically in brand new condition. So that was really happy to see that. I got both of these for $5 instead of 13 brand new. So I'm really happy with these. Um, if you don't know what the series is about, I'll tell you what the first, I'll read the back of this first volume here. And it says 14 year old Maximum Ride knows, what's, knows what it's like to soar above the world. She and all the members of her flock, Fang, Iggy, Nudge, Gasman, and Angel are just like ordinary kids, except they have wings and can fly. It may seem like a dream come true to some, but for the flock, it's more like a living nightmare when the mysterious lab known as The School turns up and kidnaps their youngest member. Now it's up to Max to organize a rescue, but will help come in time. Join the adventures as renowned author James Patterson's internationally best-selling series comes alive in its first manga rendering. Um, it's really fun. It's really good. I really enjoyed the manga. I think the manga is a lot easier to read. But um, so we ended up being able to find volume three and four. The next thing that we picked up, um, the next thing that I picked up is also the other manga in this haul, and that is the Legend of Zelda Legendary Edition. This has two in one. It's got Majora's Mask and A Link to the Past. Um, if you haven't seen my September haul, I hauled Ocarina of Time, and this is the like a part of that series. Um, my boyfriend is a huge Legend of Zelda fan. He enjoys playing it, and I really enjoy watching him play and kind of learning a little bit more about the story and the world and as much much more of a reader than a gamer this was a fun easy way for me to kind of learn the story and kind of meet the characters a little bit and learn more about the world um, but I've been really enjoying it I just started it I'm only like 50 pages in or so but these editions are just absolutely beautiful and they're a fun way to learn about the story I also picked up An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir this month. Um, I did used to own this in the original hardcover edition, but when I moved, I had to get rid of it, and then I decided I wanted to pick it up again in the new paperback edition, which I really love. I love this like big floppy paperback. I love the cover change. I just love the like feel of this, and it's so much more easy. It's just so much easier to carry around and read. So I am really excited to dive into this. It's thicker than I remember it being. Um, it's like 448 pages or so, but I am really excited to dive into this. And finally... Um, hopefully fall in love. I know, I know a lot of people really, really like this series, um, so I'm really excited to dive into this. And my book of the month choice for November is A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne. This, he is the author of The Heart's Invisible Theories as well as, um, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I don't know much about this book. I was reading the blurb and it seemed really interesting, so I decided to pick it up. Um, it 
about a man named Maurice, and he's working at a waiter in a West Berlin hospital in 1988, and he uh, in engineers the perfect opportunity, a chance encounter with celebrated novelist Eric Ackerman. He quickly integrates himself with the powerful but desperately lonely older man, teasing out of Eric a terrible, long-held secret about his activities during war. Perfect materials for Maurice's first novel. Once Maurice has had a taste of literary fame, he knows he can stop at nothing in pursuit of that high. Moving from the coast, where he matches with, with Gore Vile, to Manhattan and London, he hones his talent for deceit and manipulation, prying on the talented and vulnerable in his cold-blooded climb to the top. But the higher he climbs, the farther he has to fall. It seems really intriguing, and it's something different. I haven't read anything like this before, so I was really excited to go ahead and pick it up. Um, and I love the cover. It's one of those, like, just, like, covers that feel, you know, just, like, feel different. Um, and so I'm really excited to dive into this. And the graphic novel uh, for November that we picked up to add to our collection is Supergirl Volume 4 Plain Sight. This is part of the DC Rebirth series um it's the next in the volume it's the next volume in the series following supergirl um yeah but we picked this up as well and the last book in this haul is actually the first thing i picked up in november i was at my used bookstore kind of just browsing the shelves i happened across this it was something i had never heard of and it was kind of underrated on booktube and i figured i'd pick it up and give it a try and that's called the bone sparrow um I don't know much about it. I know it follows a boy uh, named Sabai, who's a refugee. He was born in an Australian permanent detention center after his mother and sister fled the violence of a distant homeland. Of a distant homeland, and the center is the only world he knows. But every night, the faraway whales sing to him. The birds tell him their stories, and the magical night sea from his mother's stories bring him gifts. As Sabhai grows, his imagination threatens to burst beyond the limits of the fences that contain him, until one night it seems to do just that. Sabhai sees a scruffy girl on the other side of the wire mesh, a girl named Jimmy, who appears with a notebook written by the mother she lost. Unable to read it herself, Jimmy asks Sabhai to unravel her family's love songs and tragedies that are penned there. Sabhai and Jimmy might find both comfort and and maybe even freedom as their tales unfold, but not until each had been braver than ever before and made choices that could change everything. This was just super intriguing to me. Um, it came out in 2016, so it's not that old, and it's not something I had really heard about or seen on booktube, so I figured um, it was, you know, something I could pick up and give a read and maybe spread the word about it if it's good. It does have... Um, but it was something I hadn't really heard of, and I hadn't really seen it on book two, but it only came out a couple years ago, so I figured go ahead and give it a try. And this copy is pretty is in pretty good condition. It's almost brand new, but again, this was a used copy. Um, but I'm really excited to give this a read as well. So here is my November book haul. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys hauled in November. If you've read any of these, I'd love any thoughts, comments, and opinions. If you'd like reviews on anything, let me know down in the comments below as well. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!